guys, welcome to a brand new SPV3 video and what is actually the very first episode in a brand new mini series I plan on doing on the channel where I take a look at the Covenant as they appear in SPV3 and show you just how much they change from Halo Combat Evolved to this amazing mod SPV3 with this episode being focused on the grunts, just how much of the grunts change not only cosmetically but also how they change from what they offer to the Halo sandbox. I can't wait to dive in so let's get this video started. So we're going to kick this video off with a classic grunt miner from Halo Combat Evolved because I really want to show you just how much work went into the cosmetic look of the grunts in SPV3. And now here is how the grunt looks in SPV3. And I love this guy. I love the way he looks. There's just so much more going on on the grunt's armor. I love the different colors that are on his armor. There's way more detail. But if you're anything like me, the first thing that caught my eye is the anatomy of this grunt's head is completely different than any grunt we've ever seen in any other Halo game. And I love that. I love, I've always really enjoyed the gas mask that the Halo CE grunt has. I I love that it looks like a retro gas mask with a piece going over the top of his head but the way the SPV3 grunt does it is completely different but still kind of holds a bit of that aesthetic and what I mean by that is that if you look at the SPV3 grunt's head he doesn't have anything going over the top of his head but instead he's got these pieces of bone that you can see protruding through his skin that give it that look of something going over his head but really it's just the anatomy of the grunt it's those little details that I love to see in SPV3 it's completely new and completely fresh but somehow familiar I love it so moving on now to the next grunt that you see from SPV3, I'm just going to call this guy the Grunt Major because I feel like there's a lot of influences drawn from the Grunt Major from Halo Reach. He has that classic looking dual prong methane take on his back that I've always enjoyed, but what I love about this guy is it's not just a clear ripoff of the Halo Reach Grunt Major. He's not got all those colors like the orange and yellow and all that stuff because he's just a straight up red grunt. And what I love about that is if you think about the grunts in Halo Combat Evolved, there's three kinds. There's the uh, the orange grunt miner, the red grunt, and then the black spec ops grunt. And this doesn't deviate from that. It makes it visually different, but some, but still familiar to the grunt major because we've seen it in Halo Reach, but it's still just the orange grunt, the red grunt, and the black spec ops grunt. And I love that because it's, it's familiar, but somehow completely fresh, and it's great. You're gonna hear me saying that quite a bit throughout this series because that's what SPV3 uh, does so much that I love, is that it takes a game that I've known and loved for, for years, for almost two decades now, Halo Combat Evolved, and made it feel new and fresh. And it's things like that that make, th that make it familiar, but fresh all at the same time. I love it. Let's move on to the next grunt. Moving on now to the final grunt that we're going to be talking about today in this video. If you think back to Halo Combat Evolved and how Bungie made the Spec Ops grunts stand out amongst the other grunts, the first thing they did was give them sleek black armor and badass weapons like the Fuel Rod Cannon. Now, SPV3 takes this a step further because not only do these guys look more badass, with their sleek black armor and their dual prong methane takes on their back, they also have the grunt heavy mask from Halo Reach. It looks bad ass. There's a few differences, like for example, instead of having one slit in the eye, there's two, but they look great. But on top of that, they have their arsenal expanded beyond just a fuel rod cannon. These guys are using plasma rifles, they're using plasma pistols, they're using needlers, and they're even using brand new weapons that are exclusive to SPV3. The first time I saw a grunt come running at me with a brute shredder or the brute piercer, it blew my freaking mind because this is just a mod, and I'm not even kidding, the grunt's arsenal in SPV3 might be wider than any other Halo game. It's crazy. In, in Halo Combat Evolved, they can only use plasma grenades, plasma pistols, and needlers. That and the fuel rod cannon. This is completely different here. These guys are badass grunts amongst grunts, and they, they show. That's all I'm saying. But the grunts of SPV3 don't just look different and use new weapons. There's actually some small details that you might notice when you're actually shooting these guys that are completely different than Halo Combat Evolved. For example, a feature that was introduced in Halo 3 where if you're shooting the grunt and you might see his methane tank explode off, he goes flying through the air. We all love that. That's in SPV3. It wasn't in Halo 1. It wasn't in Halo 2. It's in Halo 3, and it's also here in this mod. That's really cool little details like that that I didn't expect that completely blew me away because this is just a mod and there it is. Also, when you're shooting a grunt in the face, you might see his face mask get completely blown off and that's when you get a really good look at these guys' faces and these guys look wild. I love the way the grunts look in SPV3. I think they look fantastic and the thing is, I think I like the design of these guys more than the design of the grunts in Halo 4 and Halo 5. That's just me. I love the way these guys look. I'm just saying. We now reached a point in the video where I'm really excited to tell you that I reached out to the lead dev of SPV3, Masters1337, asking for some insider knowledge of the design of the grunts. What's some insider knowledge that he knows from designing these guys at SPV3 that we wouldn't know just by simply playing the mod? And the answer he gave me is the exact kind of nerdy knowledge that I love to hear because he says that the lead inspiration, the main inspiration of the grunts look in SPV3 is actually the Cloverfield monster. And when he first told me that, I was like, Really? And then whenever I actually saw a picture, I was like, that's exactly what that is. I 
love that. It, it, it's great. I'm, every time I shoot one of these guys in the face and his mask flies off, I'm going to see the Cloverfield monster. And I love that kind of insider knowledge. I never would have known that otherwise. And here he is. Let me know down in the comments if you saw that before I knew because that, that it completely blew my mind. I love that kind of stuff. Thank you, Masters of 1337, for giving me this insider knowledge that I can include it in this video. But guys, that's all I have for this video. If you found yourself liking this video, be sure to drop a like on it because that helps the video reach more Halo fans. And that's always a great thing. I also make new Halo videos every single week. And be sure to let me know down in the comments which race you want to see next. The SPV3 Elite, the Brutes, because they're actually in SPV3. I love that. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.